I've been worrying about environmental security for close on a quarter of a century and I've been thinking through how it is that security relates to environment, how it is that things that disrupt environment are understood to be security threats. I've been thinking about the larger geopolitics of this for a long time too. Fukushima was a disaster in all sorts of ways. Clearly it was a disaster that had environmental dimensions. Clearly it was a disaster in terms of shutting off the power for Japanese consumers for a substantial chunk of time too. That, for climate change activists, was a disaster precisely because it involved the Japanese using more fossil fuels to generate electricity to replace the stuff from the offline Fukushima plants. But if we're actually serious about disasters and climate change, then shouldn't we be considering geoengineering, or to be more precise, solar radiation management too? After all, we may have to artificially cool the climate unless we dramatically reduce the use of those, well, disastrous fossil fuels. Security and fossil fuels, security and geoengineering, security and nuclear power, they're all interconnected in a complex set of ways. And what my paper tries to do is suggest that this is now even more complicated um, in the last decade or two, as we begin to understand that we are, um, as humanity, or at least the industrial part of humanity, dramatically changing um, some of the basic biophysical characteristics of the biosphere. We live, as the geologists now tell us, albeit unofficially so far, um, in the Anthropocene, a uh, geological epoch that is noteworthy precisely because industrial humanity, urban humanity, and yes, um, industrial agricultural humanity, um, all of which are driven predominantly by fossil fuels, have begun to change the parameters of the planet um, in noticeable ways that will have geological consequences for a very long time. How to think this through, how to understand security as both a matter of preserving the conditions for our increasingly artificial urban industrial life, how to also think about security in terms of immediate threats and disasters, and how do we link those up? All of those are the themes that my paper tries to grapple with. There are no easy answers to this, but it's very clear that environmental security understood as it was perhaps a generation ago as a matter of simply avoiding some pollution episodes, avoiding uh, some resource conflicts, um, maintaining um, intact uh, ecosystems for the future of humanity, now needs to be supplemented by a recognition that the sheer scale of what humanity is doing and the long-term consequences require us to both think about how we produce electricity to power our cities without making us vulnerable to such things as meltdowns at Fukushima, for instance. But can we also think about um, the ecology of the planet in complicated ways that focus um, on keeping the planet within some kind of reasonable proximity uh, to the biological and biophysical parameters that humanity has known through the history of civilization, without resorting to potentially disastrous solar radiation um, techniques. Disastrous either um, because when they go wrong um, the heating of the planet is, is aggravated and accentuated, at least the speed of it is, or um, uh, locking industrial society in perpetuity into increasingly uh, artificially adjusting and the climate, both of which, from an environmental perspective, might be understood to be a form of disasters. Disasters that raise the whole question of what kind of security the Anthropocene now needs us to conceptualise. And the paper grapples with this, concluding in the end that in fact the politics of security in the Anthropocene may indeed um, be about choosing your disaster and how these are prioritised uh, will shape what it is that is understood to be a security threat in the future and what kind of security humanity needs to uh, formulate collectively um, if we are to avoid these various disastrous futures which are looming um, when you think about the increasingly artificial circumstances which are now required to secure us all in our cities.